Okay, this video is to show the problems I've been having with, with my X55 Rhino, which I got last February. So, and right now it's almost June. So, uh, February, March, April, May, June. Man, that's three, three or four months. And it's been driving me crazy because it seems to be random. I didn't understand what it was until today. It seems like it's caused by TeamSpeak. Here I have TeamSpeak open, but I'm going to close it to show that it works. Here I have a profile for DCS Black Shark, and I don't even need any games running. I can just test this within the HUD software. Um, here are the keys I have assigned. Uh, I use the trimmer all the time. The trimmer is, is an advanced command. I just press the T down and I hold it while I'm flying with the stick, and then I release it. And it presses the T button down and holds it, and then it releases it when I let go of the button. Um, and here are some of the other commands that I have. For hat 1 here, I have the target cursor moving around, and hat 2 is to sh turn on the shikbo and reset it, and to select weapons. And anyhow, um, we'll get a, give it a test here. I'll download it, and then I'll t open the tester window. Here's the tester window, so when I'm flying, I'm holding the T, and I'm moving the stick around when I'm flying, and it's just fine. It holds it down, and then it releases it. So that's perfect. Now if I look at the... I have a point of view hat. It looks at the cockpit and the out external views. So here's the cockpit. I press it and release. Press release. Press release. And then that works fine. And here's the flyby view. I press and release. Press and release. Here's going down. This is a chase view, I think. And this is external view. Press and release. Press and release. Works fine. Um, and here's the cursor hat move the target cursor around and that's working fine and then the weapons shake ball press it and release it once twice and here's a third time and select your outer weapons and and your inner weapons it's all working perfectly um, so now I'll go and load up TeamSpeak I don't even have to connect or anything. Um, I thought it might have been a plug-in. I got rid of all my plug-ins and disabled them all. Um, I don't really know what it could be. I haven't really done anything in TeamSpeak. Uh, I use it all the time when I talk playing with my squad. But here's the test. Now, if I'm flying the Black Shark, i got to hold the trimmer down. So if I just hold it down, look what it's doing. It's not repeating. It's pressing and releasing. And now I'm going to release it right now. So see, it just went crazy. Press and release, press and release probably about 40 times and then it holds it down and then it presses and releases again. That's what uh, a hold button does. And that that's crazy. So now if I just go and use like the point of view hat and I want to go to the cockpit, press F1, I'll press the hat, point of view hat up once. That was just one time. I'll do it one more, press and release, press and release, press and release, press and release, press and release. Uh, here's the flyby view, press and release, press and release, press and release, press and release, press and release. So it's doing it more times than it should, that's for sure. Look at control F4, that's just crazy. Press and release, press and release, press and release. That's just crazy. And here's the, here, let me clear this. Here's the shikful, press and release, press and release, press and release, press and release, press and release. Look at that. Um, and those are... Let's see. Those are all advanced commands. Well, let's do the uh, target cursor. Press and release. There it did it. Let's go to the right. There it did it. So it's just, it's totally porked. I can't even fly like that. I can't fly if I want to go online and use TeamSpeak. Um, here's another profile. Let's see, this is the one I use for IL-2, which Satex said they didn't support, but it doesn't have anything to do with the game. The game's not even running right now. So, I'll download that one. And this one, here, let me start over. This one, I have advanced command, where I press the F key down, and then I release it for the flaps. Um, and then I have the same thing for the V key. I press it and release it. Um, Let's just test that. 
press and release, 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 press and release. So that is totally screwed up. Okay, I'll close TeamSpeak now. And now we'll test it again. Press and release, press and release, press and release. It's working perfectly. Let's go and load up that Black Shark profile. Okay. And with Black Shark, let's hold the trimmer down. Hold the trimmer down again. Hold it again. I did it three times there and it worked perfectly. Um, and let's do this point of view hat. The Schick ball. Oops. Schick ball. And the shick ball on, I select the outer weapons or the inner weapons, disable the shick ball, um, move the cursor hat up to the right. That's working perfectly. And down, go to the cockpit view, Let's do a flyby view, back to the cockpit, um, do the trimmer, or I'm sorry, the select the weapon and the trimmer. This is all working perfectly. Let's load up TeamSpeak. Okay, let's hold the trimmer down. Look, it's screwing up again. Press it. F1, F1, F1. There, it did it. There, it did it. So it's totally hosed. I can't use it if I'm flying online. That's all there is to it. So I hope somebody will fix this because it's been driving me nuts for about four months now and I finally think it's nailed down to being something with TeamSpeak. Thanks a lot.